big news is he's taking place in a practice round at Augusta this week. I mean, everyone's getting a bit excited, but how likely are we to see Tiger on the first tee, do you think, on April the 7th? Yeah, uh, hey Hayley, lovely to see you. It's tough to say, honestly. I think uh, it's a case of him just testing out where his body is um, and getting a sense of what might be possible. I think it will probably be a last-minute call. Um, but how incredibly exciting it would be after everything that he's been through over the course of the last year to see him there. Um, but, you know, it's, it's still a long way to go yet. And um, it's just brilliant to see him even contemplating it, I think, because, again, given everything that he's been through. I mean, everyone knows Tiger was he's the ultimate competitor, isn't he? And he won't want to be there to just to make up the numbers. Do you think if it happens, he can challenge? I mean, the Masters is an incredibly special place to him uh, historically, most recently, obviously, in 2019. Um, it's an incredible place to be. Uh, in no matter in what regard that he might be there in. So I think, you know, again, given everything that he's been through, um, the seriousness of his accident and injuries, as we saw at the World Golf Hall of Fame, his daughter Sam saying that it's just amazing to see him walking again, honestly, and to be able to walk in as special a place as Augusta, um, it's just really nice to see. It is. And we know that Augusta provides one of the most difficult challenges in golf. OK, it's one of the most exciting, but the course is playing a little longer this year. What does it take to win the Masters? Oh, man, everything. But I think complete control over the shape of your golf ball. Um, historically, Masters champions have been able to shape it both ways. A draw, a high draw is critical um, at Augusta, especially over the course of the last few years. Um, so sort of look at some players that do have that shot shape naturally. Uh, and that's why someone like a Bubba Watson, for example, thrives there because you know, he has such incredible imagination. Uh, and when he ha pairs that with control over his golf ball, that's when fireworks happen. Obviously, we all know about uh, Augusta Nationals greens. Um, so stellar putting and able an ability to read those, take those on, not be too daunting. Um, and obviously, there's the mental aspect of winning any major, but I think especially at Augusta, because it is such an incredibly historic and special place that we just relish seeing the players tackle every single year. And we saw Paul Casey, didn't we, go so close at the players earlier this month. I mean, what do you think the chances of a British or European winner at the Masters this year? Oh, for sure. I mean, the interesting thing is because the Masters in Augusta is such a unique golf course, a player doesn't necessarily need to have uh, an incredible breadth of form coming in. Although Paul Casey, as you said, has, and he's an incredible iron striker. Um, he's well known for that. And it's nice to see him trending in the right direction. Uh, but no, I mean, some like a Rory McIlroy, for sure. Why not? We've seen him win in Dubai earlier on this year. Um, Tommy Fleetwood, again, has been trending in the right direction. He had a great players' championship. So uh, British, Irish contingents, for sure, I think for sure you could have someone either spring up out of the blue. And it is nice, as you say, to have some of those players have some form coming in. And we're seeing inklings of hope as it's getting into the meaty end of the season. Mm, absolutely. Now, tomorrow sees the Texas Open get underway. It's a pretty strong field. It includes Rory McIlroy, Jordan Spieth, defending Masters champion Hideki Matsuyama all competing. Just how important is it to find form in the tournament, I guess, preceding a major? Yeah, it's really interesting, Hayley, because everybody has such different strategies and some of those players' strategies have changed over the course of the last few years. Some players like to take the week off beforehand, as I was saying, you said, Justin Thomas over in Augusta playing a practice round, uh, or some players like to play the week before and try and find some form. Um, it's tough to find a golf course with the same setup as Augusta. As I said, it's such a unique golf course that offers such a unique challenge that it's near impossible to to um, really practice that the week beforehand because what other golf course is like Augusta. So I think players just looking to keep that rust away, players who like to just keep playing and keep the momentum going. Um, or perhaps as someone who needs a little bit of a fine tuning in some element of their game, maybe they want to work on putting under pressure and they believe they can get that done the week before. So there's going to be so many different storylines to watch out for this week at the Valero Texas Open, not just who wins, but perhaps what players are working on what. Let's keep an eye on the stats 
maybe Rory's been struggling in one area of his game and does that drastically improve this week and therefore will stand him in good stead uh, when he steps on that first tee on Augusta. 